Hello everybody, Treespunk here, and today I'm going to show you some Super Smash Bros. Brawl custom stages. These are all stages that I made. Some of them I made a long time ago, some of them are more recent, uh, but uh, they're all pretty good stages, and I just want to show them off. Uh, now, all of these are going to have pretty recent dates. I, I got a new Wii, and I had to recreate some of my old ones from memory, but I only remembered the good ones, and the good ones were good. Um, and then the other ones are just ones I came up with uh, just a few days ago, you know, just kind of messing around. Um, I don't know about most of you, but I actually do like the stage builder. I mean, sure it is pretty limited, but you still get a lot of options, and you can still be creative. Um, you know, like Teddy Roosevelt said, you do what you can with what you have where you are. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show these off. Oh, and by the way, I do encourage each and every one of you to recreate these to play them yourselves, um, you know, because some of these are uh, quite brilliant, if I do say so myself, and, um, you know, I'd just like uh, you all to enjoy them as much as I do. Um, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go into a group, and I'm going to just do a standard brawl match for each one, except for one where I'm going to do special, uh, but you'll see why later. And I'm just going to set it up for one minute against three puny uh, CPU players. Uh, just to show you the grand scheme of the level, uh, give you an idea of the size of it, uh, all the stuff that's there, and uh, what makes it special. Alright, so let's get to it. Uh, so, if you don't know me by now, uh, I go with Luigi. And I'm going to go blue. Yeah, I'm going to make him blue Luigi. Got to put my name D-Rock there. Uh, three computers. Make you puny, make you puny, make you puny. Whoops. Make you puny. Alright, so the first custom stage, come on, load it up, there we go. First custom stage is going to be Showdown Bridge. Uh, now this one's, it's pretty simple and straightforward. There's a couple of unique quirks to it. Uh, first of all, yeah, you can fall right through the floor, get hurt by spikes, whatever. But you can also do like under attacks like that. So that's, that's made the main reason why I made it. But uh, having the spikes down there is just an extra obstacle to avoid. Ooh, oh, damn it, DDD. Alright, now coming over to the side here, you see that I have these angled platforms, but that is specifically so that you can't grab onto them. Uh, so getting up, like obviously getting up there, even with Luigi, can be pretty difficult. And if you fall off the side, there's very little chance that you, or, I mean, there's very little chance to get back up because you can't grab onto it. Uh, and I'm sure you do have this platform that moves up and down, but I mean, you could be, you could be a little out of luck if it's a little too high or a little too low. Or actually, I guess if it's a little too high. But anyway. Yeah. So this is this is Showdown Bridge. Oh, D D D. Oh my god. You know, I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Oh, wow. Okay, what I thought was gonna happen, and I'm sure what you're gonna see happen here in the future, is you're gonna see puny CPUs kicking my ass. Um, I'm sorry, it's just kind of how it is. It's mostly because Luigi is such a different character in this game. Uh, he was my He's my go-to in Melee. In this game, I kind of just choose him by default. Um, but, I don't know, there's other characters I'm good with, but I, I just always got to go with Luigi for presentation purposes. Just because, you know. Um, but, yeah, you are, you're probably going to see these puny computers kick my ass. Just because even level 1 in this game is... I mean, still... I mean, they still fight. Level 1's in Melee in the first game did, nef did next to nothing. These ones do a lot more. But anyway, I digress. Uh, custom stage number 2 I'm going to show you is Mortem Pillars. Now, this one is a very minimalistic stage. Uh, it does have two of those sloped platforms, again, so that you can't grab onto the ledge and pull yourself up. And, of course, the actual fighting space is much smaller. It's about as small. It's about as small as you can be. Um, I hope I got that KO. And also, the distance between the pillars does pose a little bit of a problem when it comes to getting to the other side. Like, let's see if I can even do it. Um, yeah, barely. Uh, screw you, Toonling. It's my strawberry. Toonling. Yeah. 
Yeah, sometimes in this stage, like when I play it with friends, uh, it's usually just about two of us on one side, of, on each side of the stage, just battling each other. I don't know, there never really seems to be much action that crosses between the pillars. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Luigi. Yeah, you're damn right I won that match. Look at that white DK. He just looks so weird. Very white. It must be albino DK. All right, so uh, here's the next one. Uh, it's Synapse. Uh, now, this one's okay. I mean, it's, it's quirky. It's weird. Um, there's also a little bit of, there's a little window of recovery if you fall off, but basically you're supposed to stay up here. That's what I designed it for. This is where all the action is to happen. You do have this little slope, which is, which can grant you access to enemies a little easier if they're on the upper level. Uh, but yeah, obviously like that, if you fall down, then you're gonna be, you're gonna be hit by these spikes unless you can land on one of those little platforms. Uh, which can be, uh, can be pretty hard to do sometimes. Um, and as you can see, these, uh, whenever I play this with computers, they never really seem to get out of there if they're at a low level. I don't know if it does that for a high level either. I never really tried it, but I know, yeah, anywhere from like one to four, they just bounce around down there. They're kind of doomed when they do. Get you, Bowser. Two, one, time. The winner is <laughs> Luigi. Oh, I did pretty good, but that was kind of cheap. <laughs> I guess you want to make that level and play it if uh, you just really want to feel confident. I don't know. All right, uh, coming to the next one. This is a skew. Now, this one's just like a really big mortem pillar. Um, but that's kind of just what I was going for. I don't know, in long angled flat course that, um, yeah. <laughs> um, well, actually, of course, yeah, like all the other ones, you can't grab onto the ledge to save yourself. Uh, so the, um, the recovery is a bit trickier on this one, especially if you get knocked farther. Spe actually, especially if you're over here, too, because you can just get really low and um, you just get to watch yourself die. Or, sorry, I say die, but no, you got knocked out. That's what happens. It's all those platform games that I play. Yeah. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Alright, so on to the next custom stage. Uh, this is my favorite. Of, I mean, of, of the ones I made, this is my favorite. And it's, it is a pretty well designed stage, if I say so myself. Uh, it's Coward's Corners. Now, this one is actually based on a certain area of the Hyrule Temple stage of uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, yeah, a certain area where you go if you have high damage, uh, it's a little harder to get knocked out. Um, it's a place that I frequent, uh, just for fun. Uh, but we called it Coward's Corners. Coward's Corners. And uh, so, this level is just an accentuation of that. Uh, let's go check it out. Let's go. So this one is in, uh, it's in two levels, basically. Um, you know, there is the upper level right here, which where all the fighting action would take place. Uh, and then coming down here, there is the Coward's Corners. Now, this is again where you would just come if you have really high damage and you don't want to be, uh, you want your chances of being knocked out to be uh, minimal. Damn bumper. Um, but there are a couple of ways you can get knocked out. Obviously, you can get knocked out through there, right here. 
Uh, you can come up here, and again, there is a slanted ledge. I guess I'm just an asshole like that. Um, you do have one platform going up and down there. Uh, and then you can also be knocked out right here. Now, this one, this one can be kind of tricky. Um, now, of course, you can kind of just exit in a sneaky way, just come up on this platform. Uh, and there's another one of those ledges. Uh, yeah, I think I am just an asshole like that. Too many people just grab the ledge when they should just be knocked out. Like me! Oh, no! Sudden death. Go! Of course. Oh, wait, let's see it. Let's see this in action, actually, while we're here. Let's get you, Luigi. Uh, the other me. Yeah, see, they just kind of bounce around. It's kind of cool. And, I mean, I did make another level kind of based around this idea, uh, which you will see at the end. That's when I'll do the special brawl. Yeah. Whoa. The winner is... Luigi. I'm surprised the computer could figure that out because my own eyes saw both of them get KO'd at the exact same time. <laughs> Alright, moving along after Coward's Corners, Thingamajigger. This one is just weird, but yet, um, if you, if you play with three other people and you're all pretty good, then this one can be pretty interesting. Uh, there's, uh, very easy ways to get, like, through platforms and whatnot. Um, see, like, right there, just jump right there. Or, as Luigi, you can kind of just do your, uh, bullet move, get over a few. You know, anything like that. And then there are all these, uh, parts on the side, like right down here, I put some typical fighting platforms. Uh, but I did make everything, I chose to make everything the flat, or the, uh, the really thin floor, the kind you can jump through, and, uh, from underneath. Um, just because I just like those kind of platforms. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, maybe it is the asshole part of me again, but I always want people to accidentally press down and fall through and not realize it. Uh, because people will do that. Um, you know, even I'll do that. But I just, uh, I've, well, I'd like to say I've, uh, learned to not do that as much, but, yeah, that's probably not true. And I don't want to lie to you guys. You're my friends. The DDD. Oh no. Sudden death. Go! Again? Whatever. Okay, you're out. DDD. I will have my revenge. No. No. Oh no. DDD. You are dead. The winner is. Bang, bang. Luigi. Bang, bang. Oh, I'm, I'm so threatening. I'm Luigi. I'm Mario's brother. All right, uh, now there you go. This is the ultimate in minimalistic... This is the ultimate in minimalistic stages here. Uh, it's four of those thin floors. Um, just spaced out. Um, yeah, just fuck you all. Have fun with this one. Just try staying alive. I mean, it's kind of like Mortem Pillars, but I'd say it's worse than Mortem Pillars because you have the gaps in between and, you know, stuff like that can happen. But also, stuff like that can happen as well. Um, at least if you're playing with puny computers. And, uh, that's sure as shit what I'm doing. And Snake is going to get KO. Man, I gotta say, that is not a good, that is not a good Smash Ball special. Um, I just really don't like it. I just prefer playing as other characters just so that I can get some better uh, Smash Balls, especially Pokemon Trainer back there. That triple finish is just awesome, but I don't know, maybe it's just me, but the fact that you get to play as, you know, a choice of three different Pokemon, um, that was one of the best characters that this series has ever come up with. Uh, cause I mean, it's not just one Pokemon, like, uh, you know, Pikachu or, uh, Lucario. Um, 
Or Jigglypuff. And actually, I, I guess I don't have Jigglypuff. I'm just realizing this. Yeah, but I had to start from scratch. Uh, that sucks. But yeah, Pokemon Trainer. Excellent character. You know what, actually? I'm going to be Pokemon Trainer for the piece de resistance, um, which actually I need to go back for. Special. I'm going to make this a special brawl. 300%. No. There we go. 300%. And I'm going to be Pokemon Trainer. Uh, Puny. Cute. Puny. Puny. Ah, custom stages. SSD Arena. Super Sudden Death Arena. Alright, just take a quick peek at it. Um, that stuff up at the top, those two bars, uh, those are spikes. Uh, so if you do land on top of those, then you get spiked. Um, but also, they do keep you in. So the only way out of this stage is, um, is that little gap in the top. Um, but it does play out just like a regular, just like a regular stage. But, um, but yeah, it's just, this one was designed to play with Super Sudden Death because, of course, you start out each, you start out each, um, instance with 300%, and, uh, it's just harder to get them knocked out. Um, I mean, if you play this as a standard match, um, nobody will get knocked out. Um, <laughs> or at least, uh, it's just so much harder to. Um... Yeah, but that's it. Oh, and I just want to say real quick. I'm so glad they kept that in this game. Uh, because I used to just annoy the piss out of people with this. You know, and I'm sure I'm annoying the piss out of you right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you guys. Uh, okay. SSD Arena. Let's do it. The Peace de Resistance. Uh, Ivysaur. Uh, no. Um, I do. I gotta be Charizard. No exception to the rule in the face. But yeah, so I guess the, the main inspiration of this one, I'd have to say, would just be the idea of Coward's Corners. I mean, I, I've spent so many times in that area of Hyrule Temple. Um, there's been so many times where I've gotten, you know, 300%, maybe even 400%. Um, but uh, I just only got bounced around. I didn't actually get knocked out. Haha, <laughs> peace out. If anybody's going to win this, it will be Charizard. It will be Tawidow. Oh yeah, and in this level, um, you know, just fuck all. You know, some of those, some of those things just get up there, and you can't get to them. Or at least it's very hard to. And Charizard won. No surprise. All right, so uh, those were my custom stages. Um, you know, like I was saying at the beginning, uh, you know, copy them block for block. You know, because I want you to enjoy them as much as I do. Um, and I know some of these are weird and, and all that, but, I mean, some of them are legitimate stages. Um, so, I guess that will wrap it up. Um, you know, as always, this was Tree Spunk. Thank you for watching. And until we meet again, see ya!